This is my trusty old Rockwell Delta table saw. And here's the caster system that I've designed for it. Extended, retracted. It's an evolution of the design that I used on the uh, bandsaw joiners retracting caster system, the first, first generation design, but a little different. In the stand for this saw, I wanted to use part of the stand for a hopper for dust collection, and then the bottom part of the stand is really useful to have a drawer for blades and attachments. So I didn't want to have the extend retract pedal in the center like I did with the bandsaw jointer stand. So I've designed a system with the extend retract pedal off to the right side. And as I push down on the pedal, it moves, it rocks a rear cross piece down under which are mounted two thick rigid casters. And at the same time, this roller under the lever rocks this front cross piece down under which are two swivel casters. The casters work essentially the same as they do on the bandsaw jointer stand. The casters become the fulcrum and when they pry down on the lever, the saw or the tool is jacked up by the other end of the lever acting on the fulcrum as a pivot. The latch is kind of neat and operates with gravity and simply unlatching the tool. So I can bring the saw, the saw out from its parking space, turn it any which way, saw large panels, and then easily return it to the parking spot when I need to bring cars in from into the garage. I initially published a video on retracting casters for a variety of my power tools about a year ago and just recently one of the comments from a viewer named Nathan was that I've been watching the uh, internet for a year and this is the best system that I've found and I guess I'll have to use it to build casters for my tools. Uh, well Nathan I've come up with plans uh, for, the, for this retracting caster system. Plans that you can download if you go to my website. Click on the links below. The plans include drawings, top view, side view of the system. Measurements dimensions of all the individual pieces that make up the caster system. A full-size drawing of the latch, the gravity-operated latch and, and its toe pedal. A complete cut list, all the materials, the sizes, uh, hardware, a complete list of materials on a cut list for all the components. And then a couple of pages of instructions that you can copy, it, print out, and take out to the workshop. Essentially, a summary of my video. In addition, when you order the plans, uh, I'll give you the address of my private video, a 20 minute video, on building this caster system. I'm going to include in this video some excerpts from the video, the construction video that will be available to you if you order my plans. Next step is to make two skids and two guides. When the casters are retracted, the saw is going to stand on a couple of skids. And to keep the legs aligned and sitting on top of the skids, we've got two guides. To fit inside the bottom end of the legs. The ends are next add the rockers or the caster mounting blocks. Cast will be attached under here 
and as he pinned it down, the jack, the saw off the floor. Uh, of course, this is going to ter determine the width between the skids. So the skids need to be set for the exact width of the saw legs. And for my saw, it's exactly 21 inches from inside to inside. So I made, a, made up a stick, a measuring stick, to help line up the skids. Now, as I push down on the pedal to extend the rear casters, this roller pushes down on the front arm and rotates the front caster mounting board downward at the same time to extend all four casters and jack the skid off the floor at all four corners. Of course, when I unlatch it, the weight of the saw will cause the casters to retract. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for uh, watching it, and thanks for forwarding the information on my channel to other folks that you think might be interested. Thank you.